Hello and welcome to Pup Cooking, Crust Edition. For the first crust, we will need maple syrup, oil, wheat flour. I prefer einkorn. If you cannot find that at your local Kroger, Fred Meyer health food store, you can probably find it online. If not, just add a little bit of flax meal. It'll give it back that nutty flavor. Cup and a half. Something to sift with. And tablespoon. If you're a regular oven, preheat it to 400. If it is convection oven, my suggestion is to take it down to 325. A baked good usually needs to be about 75 degrees less. You shouldn't need to cook it more than 10 minutes. Preheat that sucker. Beautiful. Okay. okay. And it said sifted flour, so just drop it in this. And then jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse up and sleigh. Now, if you have one of those crank sisters, I feel sorry for you because they just suck. But if you have one of those squeezable ones, I highly recommend that if you have a toddler anywhere between 18 months and four years old, because if they're having any trouble coloring or doing things with their small hands, trust me, it's their muscles. They need to develop them. Put it in flour, put it in glitter, whatever you feel like. I gave it to a kid once and he would not put it down. He just kept squeezing it long after the glitter was gone. <laughs> and what do we do with this leftover stuff? Toss it back in here. We don't need it. Okay. Now we need one more half cup. And dashing through the snow in one horse open sleigh, over the field we go, laughing all the way. <laughs> Bells on bottle ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to laugh and sing a sleighing song tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're moving these. Fortunately, there's a sink right there. Now, my short got this, but for some reason, I didn't record this in the larger video. You need a half cup of oil and two tablespoons of honey. Now, I ever did this because I substituted maple. My suggestion is take two tablespoons away from your oil and substitute maple syrup, as it is less thick than honey. But it is healthier when you bake it, because really only raw honey is good for you. If you find it's too sticky like this and it's not doing its job, add more flour. Just a little. And then we'll try mixing it in. And if it's not enough, we'll know. Because there's a very specific consistency to a press crust, and trust me, this is not it. <laughs> I did use a new sugar, so that can always affect things. But what you want is something that is kind of sticky, but mostly just presses. Let's see if it presses. That's a press crust. Okay, we got what we wanted. Now we want to press this sucker down as high as we can. And the thin is better because honestly, it's going to be one of those things that's kind of difficult to deal with if it's too thick. It just doesn't taste right. But you don't want any holes. It's very important you don't have holes. Anything that's over, we're going to take out because we're going to put it on the side, okay? At this point, there's enough that's thin that we're just going to go ahead and let it build. extra flour because you want it to be moldable. This is important in a pie crust. <laughs> Sort of come together. This is a little bit. Let's stretch it a little. 
shall we? Yeah, I think I just have enough. If it's a nine and a half by plate, then you're just gonna have enough. Normal one, you'll probably have a little extra, which is good because those are yummy for snacks. There we go. And then it looks pretty cool this way. Just 10 minutes, but we're waiting for a specific look. So keep that in mind, please. If you see that little bubbling, that means that inner crust isn't quite done yet. So let's take a look and see if it's actually done. See, it doesn't look done to me. You can usually tell with a fork. That's pretty flaky, I'll admit. But it could use a little more golden, so we're going to stick it back in for another two minutes, maybe. All right. Now that is a better color. I think we want, you basically want something that feels a little golden-y. Oh, that's what's wrong. Ta-da! That is a better color. Now we're going to leave this to cool. baking this crust, so technically speaking, you probably should do this uh, with gloves, but they'll live. <laughs> My hands are clean, doesn't matter. And you know what, germs are actually important in life. Basic hygiene practices are good, but there's a point where you get too germophobic and you actually cause yourself more disease in your spirit. This is going to be a very thin crust. You can use a whole box if you want it to go up like the other one, but I think it works just fine as a base. And it gets very hard. So think of it more like a really tough cookie. Simple, basic, and it tastes kind of amazing. 